one of the key aspects uh, one of the key aspects that I focus on is one of the common mistakes that I see founders uh, do is they feel that acquiring customers is not their problem. They need to find somebody to take care of it. So it's not a personal problem. It's a company problem. It's not a personal problem. They need to find somebody to take care of it. That somebody usually takes form in uh, somebody in the company that, that's employed, head of marketing, CMO, whatever fancy you want to give them. It sometimes takes form in an outsourced uh, freelancer. That's also a common form I see. The third is uh, it's given out to a company like an agency or a sales company if it's in B2B, uh, a call center somewhere or so on. So those are usually the forms of it. I understand in the beginning, if you're looking to build your tech, you're trying to figure out stuff and some staffing and so on, you might not want to do that. But if there's one thing that you want to take away from our session today is that this is something that you should learn yourself. The reason being is with no customers, there's no business. There's, there's nothing. Um, I've had many, many founders get behind their veil where they're outspoken when you talk to them, but when I ask them to go out and do some business and sales and so on, they feel uncomfortable doing that. And that's by nature. The concern I have with this is if you don't learn how to do the ugly part yourself that we don't like to do, you cannot manage somebody else. They will give you excuses. They will hide behind things, especially when you're dealing with freelancers and agencies and so on. Um, some people I've seen, they've, they've, they've went the mile of going, getting uh, somebody and giving them equity around anywhere from 6 to 10% of the company for them to lead on the sales or business development or the customer acquisition to only find out a few months later that they're not the right person for that job. And you have this equity that's stuck with them now and, you know, you know sick anywhere from three to 10% is, 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 a, is, a, is a large amount of equity. So uh, you can avoid all of this if you spend some time on your own figuring it out. And that's B2C and B2B. When it comes to B2C, it is acquisition on digital. It's Instagram, it's Facebook, it's it's Google. So those are paid ads and there are tools for that. And for that, you need around 50 hours of YouTube content. Sessions like this help and other things that you're doing help and so on. But at the end, it's, it's, it's 50 hours of YouTube in the range of 50 hours of YouTube content and money to burn that doesn't hurt you. So you set aside a few hundred dollars to run a few ads that will go nowhere. But that means you're going to go inside, you're going to get your ad rejected by Facebook because you did something wrong. You're going to get these weird comments from people that are not in, in your target audience for you to look at. Again, I'm talking about the DTC part. That part uh, uh, is uh, will really benefit you later on when you're looking to hire somebody and you ask them for things. Um, if you're if you're shy about doing it in your own brand, you want to be perfect when you go out. If you want to do that, go that route. I've seen some insecurity in, in that direction. Let's say that's the case. Do what a lot of people, other people do is uh, uh, the same way you have a, a, your own, a, a, another social uh, uh, account. You can create a temporary account, a temporary account for something that you fool around with and play around with without your name. I don't recommend this because just, you know, go, go straight in. There's no shame in learning this. But in case you feel very, you know, uncomfortable about doing this in the name of your own company, it's fine uh, uh, to do this under, under us. So this is for you to learn.